drink. Cleaning poop is hard work. She's able to sense that okay, the rider is new. Some horses tend to bully if that's the case. Whoa, this one gives me the, the insecurities. So, can you tell me a little bit more about um, Healing Horses? Healing Horses, we provide a therapeutic horse riding program for children to adults with uh, challenges or special okay. needs. Uh, we only use about 8 of them for our therapy because oh. they are specially trained for the therapy program. So what is a specially trained horse like? Because we have children who are in the aggressive um, mm. behaviours and mm. all that so we have to train the horses to be really tame. Mm. If mm. they are kids are non-verbal, mm. I've seen them uh, progress by speaking like uh, their first words oh. during the therapy program. It's very rewarding to see when these kids uh, progress through the program. Yeah, for adults, it'll be more of uh, mental health. So I'm going to work here today for a little bit. <laughs> I will have to help to clean horse poop and I don't know what else I, I need to do. The but maybe you can take well. me. Yeah, horse pee as well. Yes. Okay, maybe you can take me there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. If you want to know the profile of a horse, you can see the, uh, the label here. So for uh, Mirabelle, this is her breed, and where she's from, a year birth, and then whether she had her lunch yeah, and her dinner. Uh, program. Then I'm going to show you the biggest horse in the stable. Okay. And his name is Focus. It's right at the end. Focus actually bites. We have to be careful when approaching his stable. Is he a therapy horse as well? No, he's no, not. right? Because he bites, so he can't. Yeah. Do it. Whoa, you are mega old. You're tall. He's taller than me. His ears are going back. So when the horse's ears are back, try yeah. not to approach them. Okay. They might end up biting us. Okay. So if it's back and forth, they're actually listening to us. Friendly, it'll be just normal, normal. relaxed. The ears will be relaxed. And if it's totally upright, they're actually alert. They're totally upright. Yeah. Focus, focus needs to focus. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it! <laughs> okay, today you need to clean up the poop of Mirabelle's. Okay. And also, you need to find a pee spot. So right now, he's scooping up the poop, but it's still is going to try to save the uh, sawdust. So he's going to shake oh. it off a little bit. And then there goes the poop. This fork is actually not as light as I thought. <laughs> the problem is that I'm not tall enough. <laughs> you got it. Oh, it's mixed with some pee as well. Yeah. Oh, so mm. I guess I got lucky. Yeah, two in one. <laughs> Bouncing poop. Cleaning poop is hard work. I have cats at home, so I do that with cat litter too, just that it's not this much. Nice. <laughs> I see a meatball here, I'm going to like, scoop it up. Uh. Okay, never mind. Uh, please go ahead, Mark. <laughs> I don't think I'm helping here. Before we bring out any horses for our program, for mm. our session, mm -hmm. Mike has to clean up the horse before uh, putting on the saddle. This is for the body. Yeah, that's right. And the hard brush, feel it? Oh yeah, yeah. This is for the main, the hair. Because the hair is very thick. So that's this is cool. called the forelock, it's the fringe. And this is the main, this is called the main. Yeah, so we use the hard brush, do it for the main. Okay. And the tail. This is called the curry comb. Curry comb. This goes in a circular motion. Okay. It's like a massager for the horse. Yeah. And this is a hoof pick. So underneath, uh, we'll clean out all, take out all the dirt. I see. And brush it off. Alright, let's do it, Mike. Arm length away. One arm length right. away. Okay, okay Mirabel, you're getting a good brush. Mirabel has been eating a lot of carrots, as you can see from the round belly here. So there's a lot of hidden products. Mirabel, are you drunk? Why are you moving so much? Just kidding. Okay. She looks so clean. Can you show how to uh, clean the hoof? Yeah, okay, okay, same thing, put the hands. Yes, then go down all the way to the hoof. Oh! <laughs> oh! We're about like, no! Okay, oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Oh, because the sawdust are all like Feel. trapped in between. Okay, hard and dangerous work. Yeah. Oh my so god. So we shall like, oh, might do it. I'm very slow and Mirabelle needs to go back to her so place to eat. Right? Yeah. So we'll let Mike the expert do it. It's true, you're very slow. Okay, so this is uh, my, one of my students here. Mm -hmm. Her name is Josephine. Mm -hmm. And she's been coming for both equine therapy program and our horse yoga program. She's here almost every day. <laughs> oh! I really uh, like the environment here with all the horses. I'm comfortable with Miss Rogers. You, you like Miss Rogers? You can tell me secretly. <laughs> yes. Handling a big animal makes me feel like I'm in control. Mm. 
they were like actually try communicating and asking for carrots, <laughs> which but is quite funny. After coming here, um, I feel more confident. Mm. Now she's interacting, she's able to share, even off the stable hours, like she does share openly about how she feels and all that. It's a good thing, mm. she's not keeping it to herself. Okay. So you two are close. Is she like your Indian mom? <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> it's like one of the things that make, make, makes me the happiest. I wanted to just ask you about Mirabelle. Like what kind of a horse is she? All the handlers mm. would say that like she's the most obedient horse. Oh. She's quite gentle. She follows a routine. Like um in the arena, mm. she would like walk one round and then stop there for us the students to do exercises. I mean, Healing Horses works a lot with like students who um, have conditions mm. um, physically or mentally. Mm -hmm. Even like people without these conditions, they mm. can also like come for therapy mm. at Healing Horses. I think it will help a lot because everyone has stress mm. and then um, it takes your mind off a lot of things. Mm. Being on a horse, it's just like very enjoyable. So you work with uh, Stressen also? Uh, yeah. She's a girl even though her name is Ang. Like we always mistake her for a boy. She's the same breed as Mirabelle. Just that Mirabelle is a bit rounder, you know. <laughs> Mirabelle, Mirabelle had too much carrots. <laughs> yeah. She's quite strong. She's quite strong? Yeah, and she pulls a lot while walking. Oh. <laughs> oh. She just gave you a goofy face. Oh, this is Lando. Lando is a pony. Yeah. He's quite big. He's really big. big. Yeah. And Hi, Lando. Strong also. Do you like working with Lando? Yeah, I think I've been on most of them. It's a bottle. You can't eat a bottle. This one is Yuppie. That one is Phil. Wow, 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 wow. I want to chunk out already. Okay, Let's go. Are you ready for your riding? Yes and no. <laughs> Why no? I've never ridden a horse before. So before we start riding, yeah. we need to put on the safety belt. Oh, you're too tight. Your I'll previous listen. student was very slim. Try this. Then we'll need you to come closer to the saddle. This is called the saddle. Okay. And where you're going to place your feet is called uh, stirrups. Here. So yeah, it's called a stirrup. Stirrups. Okay. And saddle. Okay. This is called a mounting yeah. block. Closer to the okay, horse. Okay, got it. Both legs here. Right leg swing over. Oh my god, my leg is not very... Ah! Try to sit in the middle. Very good. Oof. Legs in the stirrup. Okay, sorry Mirabelle. We good. Go, Mirabel. Okay. <laughs> Keep my back straight. To work on your posture as well. I see. Yeah. So that you know, you know, some students who what's that? Oh, he's pooping. Sorry, Mirabel. Oh, is pooping. Mi Mirabel. Oh, look straight. Okay. Now you can turn around and look at the poop. <laughs> oh my God, Mirabel! There's all your carrots. Do they take on the emotion of the rider? Definitely, you are in contact with his body. Yeah. So she's able to sense that okay, the rider is new. So you need to show the, the horses that you are the trainer, you are the leader. I see. Keep your back straight, look straight, and they'll know that okay, this person knows what they want to do and what they're not, what they're going to do. I see. Okay, I shall untense my body, but I keep my back straight. Yeah. Okay, rise up and raise down, and down. Rise up again at least ten times. Look straight. Nine. And the last one, rise up. Very good. You did well. So what does this uh, do? To work on your balance. Okay. Next, uh, go forward with the hand, one hand out. Okay. Are you relaxed now? Yep. Here we go. Yep. For the next round. I'm going to continue the walk because you're switching hands. Okay. How do you feel? Uh, I'm more relaxed now, but I do realize that it really trains your balance. Yeah. Whoa, this one <laughs> gives me the, the insecurities. Thank you, Mirabelle. Okay. Mirabelle, let's go. Okay. It's okay, Mirabelle. Your challenge is not over yet. Oh. So both hands out, you're going to do your rising up. One. Up. One. Well done. Very good. I can feel that if I'm off balance, she actually tries to balance me back. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that I was uh, in for a workout today. Because of course it's your first experience. Yeah. 
we were a little nervous yeah. but along the way a little bit more confident and we did all the tasks correctly we did pretty well every time if i shut off my mind and trust my body right, i feel better but otherwise i also can feel like i'm putting a bit of stress on the ground <laughs> Um, it was a good uh, first time experience. That's I can good. see how it trains like my balance and the my my <laughs> my legs are a little bit sore okay. now. <laughs> I haven't been exercising. I personally, when I'm riding like a horse, I find that my mind uh, is calmer because you have to focus on maintaining like your balance, right. and therefore, in a way, you kind of like you can't think of anything else. So it really gets your mind off all the worries you had before you enter the stables, because that's the feedback I get from clients as well. Um, to have a better mental health, like uh, to cope with their mental stress, it really helps in their posture when they are riding the horses. So a certain exercise, what I showed earlier was just basic. So I noticed something where was very interesting, which is the handler when trying to calm like mirror well down, is tapping that part where he's tapping is actually the heart chakra part. And then it's yeah. The heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's the heart of the horse. So yes. it's like uh, they are opening up like Mirabelle to sort of receiving like more like positive energy. Her energy is very uh, maternal and um, um, nurturing and also there's a lot of like compassion. She does feel very safe and she yeah. really helps me to like balance it back. Uh, so is Mirabelle the influencer horse here? Like is she the most popular? <laughs> most popular. Most All popular. my students love her. The thing is I don't really want them to get the same horse throughout yeah because to break the rigidness because some uh, kids on the autism spectrum they are very rigid yeah so i'm actually trying to teach them flexibility in this way i do feel that i'm um, working like with horses give um like city kids especially an opportunity to be really uh like in nature and unlike having like your own pets but with the horses the horses feel like they can take care of us. Okay, so if you are interested in healing horses, the link is in the description. Uh, we want to thank Miss Rogers for showing us around today. And also thank you to Mirabelle, we will feed her a couple of carrots. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-oh.